Hello and welcome, welcome to the latest edition of the uh, Friday Tech Tips, 5-Minute um, Fridays. I'm going to show you a tech tip in 5 minutes or less. The goal for this one is to show you a, a program called Awesome Table. It's a website that will create an awesome score leaderboard for your class. So I've got a gamified class, so I want kids to be able to see who's in the lead um, on the leaderboard. And so what's nice is I can just have this all set up so that they can go to my game website and see the leaderboard. So you could do this for anything that you might need, any sort of leaderboard from sports to uh, team points to different things that you might want to have a leaderboard that students can have access to. Um, so the nice thing is, so you start with it, you start with a Google Sheet. Um, so I've got my Google Sheets all set up. I've got the team names, I've got the points, and I've got the hour that they're um, in my class. And I've got other different um, things that feed into this to put the points in. But the main thing is, is to have this all set up. And then I go to a website called awesome-table.com. That's awesome-table.com. And make sure you're logged into your Google account and then you're gonna create one. What's nice is it pulls directly from your Google Drive. So I'm gonna find that spreadsheet that I was just working in. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna decide which sheet. So I want the leaderboard for quarter two, okay? You can also make changes to what range. So if I only want the first and second column, I'm gonna do A1 through B and click Create. And now I've got this awesome sortable table that I can share on my website. Now, right now, it's only showing the first 15 columns or 15 teams, and I can actually change that. So, if I want it to do all 31 teams in one shot, I can. If I only want it to show the top 10, I can do that. Um, there are different visualization types that you can play around with, but I usually keep it nice and simple and keep it on this. Uh, the final thing that we'll do, so we've got our, our table. You can actually sort it when it goes live, so I can show you what it looks like live. Um, so you can sort it by team name. You can sort it by the number of points that are awarded. Um, if you have other columns that you want to sort out, you can do that as well. The other thing you can do is, is if you say, you know, I only want teams that are within this range, it'll only show you teams in that range. And these are all features that students can do once it's posted on the website. So. I once I'm done with this, I'm ready to share it. Now I've got a link to share code, or I've also got an embed code, and you can copy this embed code on to any website. And I can show you what that looks like. If I go to my novel quest, actually this isn't the right one. If I go to my leaderboard, you can see, um, and right now it's quarter one leaderboard is all posted. Um, so you can see what it looks like on there. Uh, if you, I can, they can sort it by team names. They can sort it by points if they want. So they can see the glowing corgi donuts was got first place, and that was from hour five. If they wanted to sort it by hour to see if they were winning their own hour, they could do that as well. So all of this can be found at that awesome table um, website. And yeah, it's a great tool. There's a lot of different features that you can use in it. Um, but those are the basics. And sometimes I like just sticking with the basics. I like just um, knowing that these are the features I want to use. And I don't explore all the tools if I don't have the time. So that is Awesome Table. This has been less than five minutes. So that is your Friday five minute tech tip with Awesome Table. Have an awesome day. Until next time, book it forward. Be awesome. Bye, guys.